for just over two years ago now when we first bought this building, we had a giant cage that we moved in before anything else. Well, it is officially set up and ready for a special reptile. We purposely didn't tell you what our plans were for this enclosure because, well, we didn't really know what we were gonna do with it except for the lizard that we planned on putting in here this entire time. So far, we just have fish in it. We got it set up. It has a really neat uh, filtration system and heating system. So, so we have some tropical fish in here doing really well. Got some live plants in there. And it seems to be cycling fairly well down there. And now it is ready for the lizard. Now it took us a little while to find this species because they're not super common in the hot but thankfully a couple friends of ours over in Michigan who have their own YouTube channels found one at a local reptile shop and they picked it up for us. So we're gonna go on a road trip to Michigan to pick up a very special lizard for this enclosure. Yay, 12 hour road trip. Yay. All right, we're on the road. I've got my coffee. Ed is driving, which yeah. is sweet. Like usual. Like, like usual, yes. I drive sometimes. I'll take a shift eventually. Sure. And our trip begins. All right, so I sent Emily in, she had to pee, so we stopped at McDonald's, and she, for some reason, I guess, uh, has a bag in her hands. I couldn't go into a McDonald's and not get their french fries. So you have to pay to use their bathrooms now. Yes, that's the requirement <laughs> to use their bathrooms. That's what we're going with. All right, well, at least how are the fries? I got a wow, large. you got a large. I love, this is like my uh, guilty, pleasure. guilty pleasure. Absolutely, yes. They good? Yeah. I guess let's go back on the road. Okay. of this trip. My only question thus far is why does Michigan have such terrible roads? Oh yeah, my gosh. We've been waiting five minutes to try and film this because it's so loud. Yes, you can't hear anything. The roads are so bumpy and there's potholes everywhere. I'm kind of glad we don't live in Michigan and I feel bad for the people who we're gonna visit here soon that do live in this state. Anyway, we are almost at our friend's house, uh, Tyler and Maddie, who each have their own YouTube channel. So we're actually going to be filming a separate video all about their animals. We'll check back in with you when we have picked up our new lizard. Okay, since we're in Michigan, we figured we'd try something that's known in Michigan. So we're at Big B Coffee and uh, we'll see how it is. I got the butter bear because I asked them what's the best latte and they both recommended it immediately. So it must be good. It's like caramel and caramel butterscotch. And butterscotch. That's yeah. it. Oh my gosh. That is very good. It's lighter in flavor than I thought it would be, but it's very good. Very caramely. I'd give it an eight out of 10. If it was a little bit stronger of a flavor, then it'd be a nine or a 10. Well, we got here about half an hour early, so we decided to take a little detour to one of our favorite reptile shops actually in the area. Figured we have extra time, we'll stop by. Yeah. So we're gonna go into Lou's Pet Shop. hiding under yeah. the paper towels. He doesn't want to show himself yet. Yeah, he wants to be a surprise to everybody too. So we are actually going to go out to dinner with Tyler and Maddie and we filmed a really fun video of the animals at their house, which will be a separate video coming shortly after this one. I guess we'll uh, check back again when we're actually in the hotel tonight so we can finally reveal what we picked up. And now it is finally time, don't mind my hair by the way, I just took a shower. It is finally time to show you what we are putting in that huge Craigslist cage. We got a caiman lizard. Hey buddy. <laughs> so he's gonna hold on to all the paper yep. towels and make it difficult to grab. This 
has been my dream lizard for a very long time and we haven't pulled the trigger yet because we wanted a big enough enclosure for an adult and an enclosure that's semi-aquatic because this is a semi-aquatic species of lizard. So the caiman lizard is a cousin of the tegu. You can probably tell by the way he flicks his tongue and just the way his body is shaped in general. They have a really big blocky head and a flattened tail and a kind of a streamlined body and all of this helps them live their semi-aquatic life. These are excellent swimmers and their diet in the wild in South America consists of primarily mollusks and they'll eat a lot of like snails or gastropods, they'll eat freshwater clams, and they'll also eat things like crayfish. So they're used to things with a hard outer shell, which is why they have such a blocky head and such strong jaws. They'll also eat fish on occasion, and because of their diet, that was another reason why we hadn't gotten one quite yet. We wanted to make sure that we were familiar with their diet and had easy access to what they need for their complete diet. But now with the facility, we're used to feeding several animals of ours, like the false chameleons, snails. We feed Rex crayfish on occasion now that we found source of those and we have a huge enclosure that's going to be perfect for this guy even as an adult so we finally decided okay it's time to get a caiman lizard so we found one in michigan and tyler and maddie picked him up for us and he is just stinking adorable yeah he is he's a little huffy a little bit huffy but he's a baby still i mean yeah. this is a little captive bred baby and i think even though he might be huffy a little tail whippy he's young enough that we can work with him so that he's a friendly adult and a lot of them can be very very friendly and handleable adults as long as they're held a lot at a young age so that's why we wanted to get this young one what i love about the caiman lizards are these huge and large scales running down their back they look they have a resemblance to caimans and that's why they get or caiman alligators which is why they get the name caiman lizards and they are just so unique with their colors which get brighter as they age you know in certain individuals their big blocky heads those huge lips and oh my gosh i have just been in awe of this species for a very long time and now we have a caiman lizard oh my goodness we'll have to uh think of a good name for him by the way oh and this is a, a northern caiman lizard uh compared to or as opposed to the paraguayan caiman the northerns are the green and red ones which are more commonly kept as pets because of their color but yeah we're gonna have to come up with a good name for you see what uh personality starts coming out look at those big back feet yeah huge feet they help you paddle in the water oh you are so cute oh my like, god i don't know i've never lived in water <laughs> yeah oh my gosh <laughs> You're gonna have a huge enclosure at our facility, so he's gonna look minuscule yeah. in this mansion of an enclosure. So we're gonna head home with him. And Only got a five hour drive left, I yeah, think. Yep, we made a halfway last night, so we have five hours left, and then we'll put him in his new home. We are on our way back home and we are making a quick lunch stop in Eau Claire because we try a lot of new foods on these vlog videos or these trips and it's awesome seeing and experiencing the food from different states. However, we have never shown you what Wisconsin is known for. So let me introduce you to Milwaukee Burger Co. This place is a Wisconsin staple and they have awesome burgers, burgers, cheese curds, which are one of the biggest things that Wisconsin is actually known for. So this place, the closest one to our shop, is like 15, 15 minutes away? 15, 20. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes away from the shop. So that's actually not too bad because there really isn't anything that Minnesota is known for. So we always recommend this place right across the border in Wisconsin instead. Reveal in three, two, one. Ooh, tasty. They have like a mac and cheese burger in here too. And I always get like their breakfast or brunch burger. That is delicious too because breakfast is the best meal of the day. No, it's not. Prove me wrong. No, it's not. Hey, right, we're back. We are back. Welcome to your new home, buddy. Oh, oh my goodness. Like, no, you can't take me. Do you want a, I doubt he's going to eat this. I'm not going to eat from your hands. Do you want a snail? I would be so surprised. It's been a couple days though since you've last eaten. It's a snail. It's pretty, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I was uh, not expecting that. I wasn't either. Okay, well, if he's willing to eat after a huge car ride like that from my hands. Or is he just killing it? Are you going to eat this or are you going to, you're just going to squish it? I think he's going to have a good appetite though. Oh yeah. So I feel like he licked it and he uh, was interested in it. Well, you just eat it when you're ready. I'll uh, give you a little tour while you have food in your mouth. This is your new home. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be dwarfed in there. That is, you are 
so tiny for this. You know, we still have to block that hole in the back, I just realized. Where the oh, cords come in. no. All right, well, I'll let him eat this and we'll block that hole. All right, the hole is fixed. Yeah, uh, spat he, this out though. He didn't really want the food. While we were doing that, do you want this? Don't want it anymore? You can put him in the enclosure and then try and feed him. Yeah, let's do that. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't eat because yeah. he just traveled like from Michigan. Yeah, it's 600 miles. Yeah. Look, this is your new home. Here, I'll open up the side. This is a mansion for you and I can't wait to watch you grow in here. We wanted to make sure that he was still able to get out if he like went in the water. I mean, they're great swimmers. Oh, are you just ready? Okay, okay, here, ready? There you go. Oh, look at him go. Oh my gosh. Oh, so he can climb up those branches. He can climb up the stick. He can climb up there. So yeah, he can climb up back over there. Yep. So we made sure he had plenty of access to the basking areas or to the branches up above. Like he can climb up this vine. vine. Like I'm sure he's, his claws can get purchase on that. Oh yeah, for sure. So, ee, oh my gosh, he's okay. in here. Okay, now that you're sitting, come here. Oh, well. oh wow. Wow, look how agile he is. I, I guess I can see why they're also called water tegus. Okay, let's go here. Cause then you're kind of in a little bit of a basking spot. There! Okay, you figure things out. I'll just leave this here. And you, then... you might take it. Oh, maybe, yeah. Do you want this now? Nope, doesn't want it. That's fine, I'll leave yeah. it here for now. But now he has so many, like there's oh ledges. My gosh, look at how small he is. He can grow into this. Yes, and... he can. Hey, this is gonna be amazing. Cause now we have another animal or like a bonus reptile for people who book this room for an event, like a party or something. Now they have a bonus reptile that they get to enjoy that nobody else gets to. So mm -hmm. it's like a little special treat for them. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. So finally, over two years ago, we bought this enclosure off of Craigslist. Yeah. And we stored it in our cold storage building for the first year. Then we moved it in here for the second year. About a month ago, we set up the aquarium part. And now- We? You. Wait a minute. Okay. We? You did the aquarium <laughs> part. I picked out the fish. You did. Okay. There we go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, now it's all set up and he's in here. Probably number one dream lizard for me over the years, but the time just wasn't right until nope. now. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll keep you posted on how he's doing. Please give us name suggestions, by the way, in the comments below. We need a really good name for him because I feel like he is going to be a big member of our family, just like when we got Allie. Like he is gonna be seen on the channel a lot, I think. This mm -hmm. is not only a new pet or reptile for us, this is a new family member. Oh my gosh, we get to watch him grow together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Maddie and Tyler for picking him up for us and watching him overnight so we could go and uh, pick him up from your house the next day. Thank you as always to our Patreon backers for your very generous support and we'll see you next time. We have a caiman lizard. Okay, goodbye little dude, now you have to eat.